Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how I have organized my pantry. If this video provides you even a little bit of motivation to organize your own pantry, then I'll be very happy. If you like such organization videos, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up so that I know what type of content my audience want me to create and don't forget to subscribe to Mom and Me and hit the bell icon for new video updates. I'm aiming for 1000 likes for this video so please do hit like button and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here is an overview of my kitchen and my pantry area is located towards this end. And this is how my pantry has been looking lately. Very messy and crowded. I want to neaten everything up and better utilize the space that I have got. So let's get started with 10 steps to organize your pantry. Step 1. Understand your pantry. I say this because before you start organizing, you need to understand what clutters or disorganizes your pantry. Say for example in my case, most of the stuff like wheat bakes, sugar, cereals is still in its original packaging even though there is little left in it, occupying a lot of space in my pantry. Another problem is on the shelf with clear jars. Over the time, there is so much of stuff in front of them like glad wrap, silver foil and other random items that it's difficult to access jars at the back. Another issue is with my spices, they are randomly placed on each shelf and sometimes I just cannot find them. I would love to have one dedicated shelf for spices and not all over my pantry. I always have open packages of Indian snacks like bhel, save, khakra etc that are kept randomly on the second last shelf which results in a lot of spills. Lastly, when I bring groceries that I do not or cannot refill immediately, I always place such packets on the bottom shelf and many times I find duplicate packs. So today I will establish a system that takes care of all these issues that I am having so that my pantry can stay organized for longer. Step 2. Have a plan in mind. So before I started organizing my pantry, I simply stared at my pantry and I roughly imagined how I will organize it. I decided to have one shelf just for my spices, one just for lentils and flowers and so on. I'll be using some organization and storage boxes, racks etc which I'll show you in later part of this video. Also I have cleaned all the unused storage jars and containers that I have a day in advance and aired them so that they are ready to be used. Step 3. Empty all shelves. Take everything out. Make sure your countertop or kitchen table is empty so you can sort as you go and see everything clearly. Once your pantry is emptied, give your shelves a good clean. Now look at what you have, check expiry dates and throw out anything overdue, add items to your shopping list as you call so you don't later find yourself caught without the essentials. Step 4. Clean pantry shelves. Now is the best time to clean all shelves, doors, walls of pantry as it's only once in a blue moon that you would do such a massive declutter come organization exercise. Usually it's for Diwali deep clean so take out time and do a little cleaning. Step 5. Categorize all items. Once everything is out on my countertop, I can see everything. I'll group them into categories. This will help me visualize how much stuff I have for each shelf and if I need to move things around. I'll put cereals together, all snacks together, spices together and so on. This enables me to see what I have and makes the decluttering and organizing process much quicker. Step 6. Check expiry. Now is a good time to check expiry of all the items I have. The stuff that gets pushed at the back and you never see it has high chances of being expired. Also look for duplicates. I found so many items that I had two packs or stored in two jars. So consolidate them. Once my pantry is organized, I'll waste less food because I'll be able to see what I have and nothing gets hidden at back of the cupboard. Step 7. Storage and organization tools. You do not have to spend fortune to make your pantry look organized and clean. I have got these wire baskets, lazy susan, big baskets, canisters, storage jars, mason jars, everything from Kmart all under $50. My most expensive possession in this pantry are these push and close storage jars which I asked for my birthday gift few years ago. I think these were $30 each at that time, but Kmart 
also has cheaper options now for such storage containers. I'll link all these items in the description box below. Step 8. Use slimmer containers. Containers organize kitchen items and are great ways of saving space. You'll find out that your pantry has more space than you thought when you put items into containers, preferably tall ones. Step 9. Label everything. It's also a good idea to put the expiration dates along with labeling so that you can know when to finish certain item by. I bring groceries in small quantity and hence I know I'll turn it over in matter of 4-8 to eight weeks. Hence I do not need expiration dates on my lentils, snacks etc. Cereals are the only thing for which I need expir expiry date as we do not consume it a lot as I cook fresh breakfast every morning and hence I did not get rid of the original packing so I do not have to worry about putting down the expiry dates. Step 10. Set up for everyday use. When deciding where to put everything away, keep items that you use regularly at eye level and items that you use less often higher up. I use lentils and spices every day so they are at my eye level. Snacks are below eye level as it's easier to see what we have. Even kids can access it easily. Step 11. Do a pantry clean every 6 months. It's a good idea to deep clean your pantry every 6 months. That should help ensure that you get rid of anything that's old or that you're not using. So guys, this is how I have organized my pantry. On top shelf, I have kept all cereals together inside this white storage container. As I said, I make fresh breakfast every morning so it's not much used. I've also kept my pizza maker and extra stock of chai and sugar on this level. I have small containers near my kitchen top where I keep everyday use chai and sugar jars. Also, I found this to be the best place to keep my silver foil and glad wrap as it won't come in way of frequently used items. Below this level, I have kept boxes of instant mixes like idli, gulab jamun, etc. These are kept in wire bas basket on left. I've also used wire baskets to store a few mason jars that hold dry fruits and other random stuff. Now this is my spice rack. I love the way it turned out. It looks neat and organized. Below my spice rack, I've stored all my lentils into push and close plastic containers. I've been using these containers since few years now and I absolutely love them. I would highly recommend them. Now, next shelf is where I keep my pasta supplies, long life milk, different olive oils, etc. Now, coming to the bottom shelf, I have used two storage containers. One of them has extra stock of groceries which I haven't yet refilled and another one has all my Indian snacks. So guys, this is the final result. This is how my pantry looks. I think I am quite satisfied with the result and I am simply in love with my pantry right now. I keep opening my pantry's door again and again to check how pretty it looks. It's so much organized, not crowded, so much spacious. I am in love with it. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please give this video a big thumbs up. I really, really uh, hoping that I do reach 1000 uh, likes for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Cash a crocodile, but a crocodile. Cash a crocodile, Modu Cash. Tail, cash a tail. Mimi ne batata tha ki na khola. Chhi. Ha. 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 Mamma, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.
સાવણી થી અત્તા કરીને ક્યાં ફેંકીને આવ્યા ડેડી બહાર ફેંકીને આવ્યા ડેડી ઠંડા ઠંડામાં તું ઠરી ગઈ હતી બહાર ગઈ હતી તો તેની પછી કેવું કરતી હતી બતાવ તો કેવી ઠંડી એવું કરતી હતી મમ્મી 